One question we've wanted to know for a while about Sonic Prime is where does it take place in the Sonic timeline? Sonic Prime is apparently canon to the games. We many Sonic fans wondered where this show would place in the timeline. Well, I believe I might know the answer to this long mysterious question. Sonic Prime takes place after Sonic Lost World. How's it going everyone? This is MD and in this video I'm going to explain my theory on why Sonic Prime takes place after Sonic Lost World. This video was recorded before Season 3 of Sonic Prime and apparently the ending of Season 3 will confirm where Prime takes place in the timeline. Whether my theory is right or wrong, we will find out, but I thought it would be fun to share my theory on this subject. Anyways, here is why I believe Sonic Prime takes place after Sonic Lost World. Firstly, let's discuss about Sonic's personality. Currently, Sonic's personality in Sonic Frontiers, Sonic is more matured and cool-headed compared to in Sonic Prime where Sonic is cocky, snarky, reckless, and careless. So it wouldn't make sense for Sonic to feel grown up in Frontiers to Prime where he's hyper-energetic, clumsy, and reckless. So definitely Prime takes place before Frontiers and also there's no stage, so there's that as well. So I mentioned Sonic is cocky, snarky, and also careless at times. He doesn't think before he acts and just rushes into things. Sonic's personality is similar in Sonic Lost World, where Sonic is cocky and careless. So for example, in Sonic Lost World there were two scenarios where Tails warned Sonic about the dangers, but Sonic got carried away and was careless. A mistake. Whatever. When is it a mistake to take your toys away? Ooh, something's not right. Huh. Must have missed this one. Sonic, it's a trap! Tails, no! In Sonic Prime, a similar case happened where Sonic was battling Eggman, and Tails warned Sonic about the trap, but Sonic didn't listen and was acting cocky and being reckless. And also, again, where Tails and everyone else warned about Sonic to be careful when stopping Eggman, uh, when stopping Eggman from grabbing the Paradox Prism, uh, again, Sonic rushes into things and was being reckless. And just another one more scene where Nine warns Sonic to keep a low profile, do not get caught or seen by the Chaos Council. Once again, Sonic did not listen and acted careless. Need to maintain a low profile. The council has eyes everywhere. When you get your memory back, you'll remember that low profile isn't my thing. Want to run up the walls? What? No! I told you to keep a low profile. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. You didn't. So based off the comparison of these clips of Sonic's personality between Lost World and Prime, it's safe to assume that Sonic's personality is, a per is portrayed around the events of Lost World. Next, let's discuss about Sonic's world, where in Prime, Green Hill is described to be Sonic's home. In games like in Generations and Lost World, Sonic's home takes place in this some green area. So this could be Green Hill. We don't see any other places of Sonic's world, just Green Hill. Alright, this point definitely proves why Prime does take place after Sonic Lost World. Cuba is one of Eggman's henchmen, debuted in Sonic Colors. In Sonic Colors, Cubot's voice ship is messed up, and it's been like that throughout the whole game. Your voice chip is stuck on Cowboy again. Stop talking and let those aliens. Come on, here, you little varmints. Come back here. Get you. Hey, 
In Sonic Lost World, we see Cubot's voice still messed up. However, later in the game, Tails fixes Cubot's voice chip and now sounds normal. In Sonic Prime, you briefly see Cubop, but he sounds completely normal. Off spectacularly! And it works too! The age of pretty lights! This here confirms that Prime must have taken place after Sonic Lost World. Because in Lost World, Cubot's voice chip has been messed up until Tails fixed it later in the game. And now in Prime, Cubot sounds normal. This is basically the main reason why I believe Prime takes place after Lost World. Because Cubot's voice chip sounds normal after getting fixed in Lost World. I could rest my case and end the video here. But there's, there's a couple of points I want to mention. But firstly, in Episode 1, Sonic was surprised to see no flickies after defeating the egg forces egg forcers and said um, no bro ro no robots with flickies robots without flickies now that's <laughs> of course that's not true because in some sonic games there are robots that don't have flickies or animals however what i think is interpreted here is sonic is used to saving flickies after bashing robots in sonic Ops world the overall mission was Sonic saving the animals from Eggman, and as you play through Sonic Lost World, where Sonic bashes all the robots, uh, the animals are freed, or in this Sonic's case, Flickies. It's probably about the recency of bashing so many robots, yeah, you expect the animals to be freed, since that's what Sonic has been doing throughout Lost World, and even a bit in the beginning of Prime. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I could go a little bit more. Uh, I was going to mention about how Sonic's running animation, the figure eight animation is the same in Prime. And I like to believe Sonic likes to change his running animation from different games. Uh, but that's just more of a stylized choice. But yeah, that's pretty much my main reasons why I believe Sonic Prime takes place after Lost World. This was a fun theory to make, regardless if everything I said is confirmed, true or not. But what do you think? Do you agree with my points and believe Sonic Prime does take place after Sonaka's world? Or do you disagree? Let me know down in the comments below. Alright, this will do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please feel free to give a like, share and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. This is MD, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.